right, so here is the former UFC world title challenger, perennial heavyweight contender type, the Reem, Alistair Overeem. His crowning achievement, really, that K-1 World Grand Prix Championship in kickboxing, still in search of that elusive UFC title. No one expected him to win that kickboxing right. world championship, right. but he went out there and he beat some of the biggest names in kickboxing history. But once he was back in MMA, he has been a true and absolute savage from becoming the Dream World Champion, becoming the Strike Force Heavyweight Champion. He's done about everything you can do in the sport of mixed martial arts. Of course, he made his UFC debut famously against Brock Lesnar. A lot of the recent wins for the Ream have come by knockout or TKO. He'll be chasing another highlight here tonight. How about the presence of Alistair Over? has stepped into the octagon. This time, he wants to leave with that championship belt. Well, in all likelihood, you are looking at one of the best heavyweights in UFC history. The man who holds the record still for the most consecutive heavyweight title defenses Cleveland-based firefighter Stipe Miocic back from their team. Going into our fight at UFC 226, he was universally considered the greatest heavyweight champion of all time. And that was rightfully deserved by beating Francis Ngannou, by beating Alistair Overeem, by beating Fabricio Verdun. When you beat guys like that, those honors are cast upon you and you have deserved them. Stipe Miocic is one of the greatest fighters the heavyweight division has ever seen. inside the octagon, he looks ready to go. Our tail of the day for this heavyweight championship fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, Dupe Miocic. The veteran Herbert Dino Ready, referee fight. for this one. Ready. All right, so this highly anticipated stand-up only event is now underway. Friendly reminder on the rules that hopefully you play by them. No grappling of any type. So if you like striking, this is the event for you. Also, fighters cannot do follow-up strikes on the floor. This is a stand-up only event. Let's see how it plays out. Leg kick lands. All right, early action here in the heavyweight division, and there's Stipe Miocic finding a home for that pull right hand. He does it really well. He baits you into throwing something. And the moment you throw, he slips and he lets the right hand fly. He did it constantly against Francis Ngannou in the first fight. It has become one of his better strikes throughout his UFC career. Checks that left kick. Throwing that jab now again, the fighter of eights. Clean punch right there. Just over three minutes now to go. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. That's a huge shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. It's a nice one, too. Big right hand. Oh, huge kick. Oh, my goodness. And that's, that's the danger. 
Ledger in the engagement there. Oh. Oh, big left. And we got a fight on our hands. That was just going to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> oh, he lands a massive kick here. So just over 20 total strikes have already landed for Steve Miocic. Under a minute now to go. Oh, roundhouse kick. Style points on that one. Yet another huge kick lands. Rips the body there. Lands to the body. Throwing that jab, no good. Round two now, Stipe Miocic, and that Ready. man, the Reed. Now the story. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kick and sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Strike right there, that full right hand, as you call it, has really become a trademark of Stipe Miocic on the field. Yeah, you gotta be very careful how you approach Stipe because he sets you up. He will fight a jab when you return. He pulls and he hits you with the right hand. And right now his opponent is not picking up on it. Stipe can put you to sleep if you aren't careful in the way that you approach it. So we pull up the numbers for you here. How about this, DC? 34 total strikes have now found the target for Alistair Ogier. And landing with 40% accuracy tonight against Stipe Miocic. Big left hook. Oh, oh, Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up to him. The kill shot. Oh, going in the fight. Overeem's nose is bleeding now. Oh, he's in trouble. Oh, and he caught the kick. Under two minutes now to go. These guys are both throwing everything with fight ending intentions. And this is. Oh, No denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that will put him... Oh! Oh! Back to the feet! Oh, big damaging knees here to the body. Strong outside leg kick. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after...
All right, we now go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 20 seconds of round number two. We're playing the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Stipe Miocic. All right, so a big win for Stipe here tonight, one of the greatest heavyweights of all time. And you know when you're a one-name man, right? Like yeah. Noma Agassi of power, <laughs> yeah. right? For Stipe, that's all you need to know and another brilliant effort out of the big man tonight. Stipe is one of those guys that you saw from the very beginning of his UFC career. You saw the evolution from...